Youth Runner here with uh, Summit Star, and now we can forever call Liberty Bell Invitational Champion, the great Ella Hagen. Uh, obviously, after two of the most brilliant performances ever in meet history, uh, we finally get the championship. She is now the only woman ever in the history of this meet, which spans nearly 50 years, uh, to have three sub-17 performances, uh, and obviously uh, we're, we're going to uh, save the, uh, the championship for a senior, which is exactly, uh, you know, uh, the way it should be for you here the last time at Heritage High School. Uh, obviously, you've had a little time to digest it. Uh, what, uh, what, what are the emotions? Because this is a really significant day for you. Yeah, definitely just really excited and just proud you know it sets up the rest of the season amazingly and obviously I've been been out here for four years been second two years in a row so being able to put myself out there and just compete with so many incredible women I'm really excited and you know very very happy about it obviously you've had such a great friendship you know with Anna Stutzman with Isabella Laurie uh, obviously you know I already consider you, even before you got on the line today, one of the best ever in, in Colorado history. But like, you know, and I said the same thing to Benji Anderson, like he became the first guy ever, you know, to run sub 15 twice, first guy ever to repeat in sweepstakes. You're the only woman ever in a course that's featured Lauren Gregory and Sydney Thorvaldson and, you know, and, and Bree Oakley and so many others that you're the only woman to have that consistency of, of, over three years. I mean, I know consistency is something that you're proud of in general, not only for Ella Hagen, but the summer program. Like, so, uh, the fact that you've gone 1645, 1655, 1654, like, uh, you know, how, when, when we say that consistency out loud, when we shout it from the mountaintops, Ella, like, uh, like, how significant is that for you to hear? It's definitely, you know, it's a lot of confidence and just shows that, like, you know, I'm still, still strong and every year, you know, I come out here and then the rest of the season kind of continues on. So it's a great, a great starting point and I'm definitely just super excited to show that, like, I can show up on that line year after year and I'm there to compete and you know these are some of the best girls in the nation out there so being able to to get out there with them is really special and to get out there with my team you know last Liberty Bell with this team so it was special. Absolutely uh, you know especially where this group is at right now right because obviously so many people have left 4A and you know and you're, uh, and, and you're still there obviously the Tim Nath you know, girls are you know finding prosperity, but so are the Summit girls. Uh, just you know, how how encouraging is it? How optimistic are you about uh, about where the group's at? You know, obviously eyes are on November second, but you know this is only September fourteenth. But just you know, having opportunities uh, like this to be in a field with you know arguably the two best teams in the country, you know, and then Chaparral obviously continuing uh, to elevate. Like how, you know how 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 good of uh, of a you know just you know aspiration point or, or motivation point is it uh, for the entire team? It's, it's really good. Yeah, I mean, it shows, you know, we've been building for four years now, and this is the fourth year with the team, and we're getting stronger, and we're learning to compete for each other and with each other when we step on that line. So it's definitely really special. Like, we're putting Summit's name out there, and, you know, obviously we have a lot of work to do, but... You know, we're we're ready to fight. And Ella Hagen is uh, is no stranger to wanting to do work. How how would you assess you know how things have have gone since you know another extraordinary performance you know to win another trail championship? Like, you know, how, how would you kind of you know assess how you know August and early September have gone? Because you know not only will I have the blessing of of, of watching you uh, perform at your highest level today. But obviously at Les Bolstad in Minnesota in, 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 in less than a week. But obviously you have to have that you know that really meaningful training block you know to set yourself up for the racing opportunities. So how would you assess you know how you know, late July, all of August, and early September have gone? It's been going really good. Yeah, I mean you know trail champs were a starting point and just a little bit of a sharpening tool racing again. And then since then it's just been you know, getting out there in the mornings, putting in the work and enjoying it and, you know, getting out there with the team. So things have been going, you know, good and just enjoying every moment of these last few last few months with the team. So, you know, just gonna keep keep going out it until the very last race, the very last start in line. So Absolutely. And that'll bad. that'll be December seventh, no doubt. Uh, Lord willing health providing at Nike Cross Nationals L last thing. You know, obviously, this course here at Heritage, in no way, shape, form, or fashion like Les Bolstad, but just in terms of just how you kind of, you know, you know, segmented the race and went from mile one to mile two, how good you felt 
going into the Saucony Arch and you know and uphill. Like you're gonna you know you're gonna get the blessing of a downhill at the end of Les Bullstad next week, but you got to do all the work early in the race to set yourself up. Like were, were, were there were there things that I mean, obviously I know you want to be present and treat each race and each challenge like its own, but were there things that you were reassured about that you know are gonna play well for you next week? Yeah, definitely. You know, I've been working on just being confident on the line and, you know, worked on that here and want to take that into the rest of the season and then just being confident in myself throughout the race and, you know, here is definitely going to transfer to next week and, you know, both courses are very challenging in their own ways, so they really play well for each other and obviously they're kind of almost as different as you can get, but, you know, you still have to show up on the day and and they both are really contributing to the strength to take into the rest of the season. So Awesome. Well, in addition to national trail champion, state champion, All-American, we can now call her a Liberty Bell champion. Uh, I would love in uh, six days' time to be able to add uh, uh, an, a phenomenal Roy Griak uh, victory uh, as well. But obviously, uh, one training session at a time, one step at a time, one race at a time. Uh, but affirming once again why she's one of the all-time greats in Colorado. Ella, phenomenal job. Uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.